Rare Beauty's trying to catch me slipping over here. What the heck? Good morning, loves. Or rather, I should say, hey, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. I'm just on my way to church right now. It is so beautiful, so peaceful. The birds are literally chirping. What is this? I love Sunday morning. You were the one I could turn to. You were the one I could fall on. You were the one I could count on. I'm thanking you in advance for the next steps that you're calling us to take. We thank you that you'll be there too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Stop before this turns into a hymn metal. Show off. No enemy can hold you down. So good. How good? So good. That's when the CD skips. You're too young to know about that. Such a beautiful day. We're just having some coffees after church, and my phone is dead, 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 dead. I thought it was charging last night, but oh, actually turned back on. Thank God. I still have like I don't even know less than five percent. You're trying to make it aesthetic. That's so thoughtful of you. I was like, where did you go? Help yourself. I'm cooking the same basic things over and over again. No, it's not. What are your ten spices? Cumin. Yes. Turmeric. Yes. Coriander. Yes. Spicy curry. Ooh. Italian seasoning. Yes. Uh, catch a charge. Are there people at the pool? I bet you there are if it's open. I can't tell. Can I see? I can't tell you the last time I was out and my phone died on me. Usually it's this camera, which is why I bring an extra one of these when I remember at least. But hey. I'm not mad, it gave me an excuse to really tap and tether into the moment and just enjoy my afternoon. So good after church, church the message was good of course, but it was really nice to start the week and have just a chill afternoon, you know? And now, even though it's sunny and beautiful and I'd love to do a million and one things, I gotta get to editing. I didn't get to finish the vlog last night. I was so close, but I didn't want to be late meeting up with David. So if you want to see what we were up to, you can check out last week's vlog if you haven't already. But I'm going to edit two before that one, get it up and stuck, and then we may have plans in the evening, although, ah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Start to make your way up. Come back through center. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. <sighs> That's the thing about yin. You think it's so much simpler because it's slow? No. The mind wanders, you want to get out of the pose, things feel slightly or sometimes very uncomfortable. But it's so. How are you doing this right? It's a little later on in the day, and it's also a long weekend, so I figured why not come to the park on Sunday, meet up with a few friends, and let's see how this evening goes. So, this is Trinity Bellwoods. We were originally supposed to go to Dovercourt Park, but I have no idea where that is. So I don't know if this is a meeting place or where we're gonna stay. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Happy Monday, guys. And it's an actual happy one because I ain't gotta log in. I love me a good long weekend. I wish. This is a pipe dream wish because it's never gonna happen. Hope none of my coworkers hear this, but I wish that a work week was three days. You know, some countries do four. I wish that we had three. If I knew I had to get everything done Tuesday to Thursday, you know how much productive? Don't even let me get into that because you know I can go on a good rant. I'm just gonna say if I had Mondays for content creation and Friday for errands, life would be more balanced. You've seen the last 14 weeks of these vlogs. You know, for most of this year, I have been working Whew, sometimes 12 into two and then when I have time, when do I have time for YouTube? When do I have time to keep up with my life? So it is nice every once in a while, ever so often to get a Monday off to do what I wanna do. Went to the gym, popped a good pot in that has left me traumatized. It's a health and wellness one that's going in 
about how you disintegrate your guts by eating too much sugar and brown fat and adipose tissue. All these things I already know, but you know sometimes when you hear it in an over dramatic way, it just, it basically traumatized me into making a smoothie. So that's what we're gonna do. Look at her. 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 Also, look at the little crumbs that are gonna bother me in post pro, because you know, there's always some. As much as I wipe before I record, there's always some. For someone who can't see details, the little things do get to me. <laughs> but, anyways, moment of truth. Ah, it's very good. It's not as sweet as I thought it'd be, and I thought I would need to squeeze a little bit of lemon to balance it out, but it's good. Note to self, editing Alicia needs to put the fruits on the screen but I mean on the roster today like I said content creation content creation content creation I'm gonna record my two pods the public one and the patreon one I can't see. I'm literally blind, so you're gonna have to tell me. It will be six twenty Canadian dollars. Will be four hundred thirteen dollars and forty two cents euros. That's perfect. The rate is one point four nine four. Okay, perfect. Thank you. My camera is dead, so you got this a backup today. It's charging back at my desk, but I had to run an errand and pay my bills. Ugh, adulting. Who signed up for this? Another day done. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but the way it is out there, I said, uh-uh. Instead, I'm gonna drop off my laptop, go home, do a little bit of yoga, finally bake. I know I said that for the last couple days, but we're actually gonna do it today. I promise, we're gonna at least prep. Yes, yes, y'all. Feels so good to be home. I just put into practice what I said in my Patreon pod last night. So good feels so good you probably have no idea what i'm talking about so if you don't know you should become a patreon member so you can find out i'm so proud of myself i'm so proud of myself oh man i have never ever so quickly put into practice what i've said usually i talk about topics that i've already done but this is something that i learned from somebody else that i have wanted to practice but haven't brought myself to practice just know if you want a little teaser choose wisely that's all i'm going to say today i'm going to switch into some yogurt gear make a tea real quick i don't know if i'm just in my head about it but the more and more people on the subway the more i feel choked up i think i'm just paranoid so i'm gonna have a nice ginger honey lemon cloves i wish i had lemongrass to add to that but i don't Resu. and i gotta wash these to rinse and repeat tomorrow i'm back in the office streets my gosh this will all make sense by the end of this week or rather in next week's vlog technically so stay tuned for that sorry i wasn't prepared i didn't bring my camera charged as soon as i took you guys out on the subway low battery you didn't miss much today though honestly just a lot of running errands the day is still far from being done and if i do make the batter which i said to myself for the last four days I will show you that quickly today. I think I did it in the vlog that I'm supposed to edit tonight, but I might cut it out because that vlog's really long. And those type of scenes, I mean, I keep in when the vlogs are on the shorter side, but when they're running around the 40 minute mark and this vlog is two hours so far, mm -mm, you gotta cut it. So we'll see. Do you hear my voice or am I just paranoid? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so scared. This would be, well, there's never a good time to catch anything, but this would be literally the worst in the world. And again, the Patreon fam knows exactly why, but hey, that's all I'm going to say. Time is expensive. The way it runs from me, I don't have it to play with, okay? Oh.
Well, technically, this should be in there. Because, like I said, rinse and repeat. Back in the streets tomorrow. Oh, come. Okay, before I go away, well, technically doing yoga, before I go, I was just about to throw this away. I was going to throw it away earlier when I was in TD. It's from RBC. It's a whole story. Let's not get into it. Something in my spirit said, don't throw it away. Wait till you can recycle it. And then I just went in. Thank the Lord I didn't throw, I would have been crying. Guys, money don't grow on tree, I mean. Thank God. I didn't even notice when I folded it and put it in my pocket, there was still shmoney in there. I'm just encouraging you to let the ego go and push your boundaries a little bit. Eight pose. Nice. Left arm reaching towards the right toes. <laughs> And then exhale back. This is all tricky. But here's the even trickier part. Can you trust yourself to lean back? Stand. You're standing on your right now. Ha ha ha. We start to ground down and center in and strengthen what's supporting us. Lift. And lift. Good. Undo your eagle pose without touching the mat if you can. Let's dive into our standing split. Or your left foot. We'll step back, warrior two. Maybe we can extend the right leg up. Start to turn your chest to the right. Nice. Keep your chest facing the right wall. Up or fingertips to the mat. Nice. Release the pose. Yin and yang, ease and effort. So maybe that is challenging yourself with something you've been avoiding that you know will promote growth, you know is good for you. And then finding something grounding that centers you, that calms you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming onto your mat, for practicing with me today. Thank yourself for showing up. So much gratitude. Namaste. Namaste. That was the hardest class I've done all year. It's Gotham right now. I saw someone say that on TikTok and I couldn't stop crying of laughter. The amount of things that have happened on the TTC this week alone yeah. And it's only Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's always happening when I'm fucking writing. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, at least once a week, like, okay, everyone get off. Because, you know, it's jerking off. Or I saw this lady at college station get stuck in the head. You we saw go, that? We had to go right through. Huh? That's so traumatic. I know. Poor thing. Oh, my goodness. Post pandemic. I don't think it's the pandemic either. I think it's the opposite. I think it's because we have too many resources. So you're attracting homeless people and crazies from all over Canada. You know? Don't they have the same things in other provinces, though? They don't have the hotels. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought everywhere had the homeless hotels. I know uh, I was in Queen of Spadina, and these two guys were talking about how they came from Halifax. Oh, yeah, because. Nikki like, isn't at a level high in Nova like, Scotia. There is no way they would allow that there. Yeah. But Vancouver has as much, if not more, homeless people than us. Yeah. But they also have like really good resources for homeless people. That's what they've said. Wow. It's so sad. You think Canada yeah, would get to get <laughs> That is life. Are That's a millennium. No, I never do. All I do is work, 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 work. Literally. Oh, you make money, money, money? No, remember, I don't get overtime, so it doesn't matter how many hours I work. It's still the same. Well, it's a good salary, but like, dang, man. I don't have a job. I have no job. Trust me. Thank you. Everyone always asks that question. I wonder if guys get asked that question as often. Yeah, they ask. Oh, really? Well, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, when are you not? You know, there's a no, quote that goes, like, a man is never alone. Yeah, I've been there alone all the time. I was alone before. When you're, recently, you're single, you're not really solo dodo, though. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Air man's on a two twos, my G. No, mm. zero. Nice, that, nice, that, nice, that. Yeah, why are we like this? Why do we live in a city where people actually speak that way? I like it. 
No. Return to sender. Um, that's not the culture I was thinking of. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got caught up in some mix up, so I'm leaving a little later than I thought I would. 41 minutes later. I thought I'd be home from grocery shopping by now, but that's okay. It's a sunny day, and I'm just gonna take it easy and take it slow, and then I'm gonna grind, grind, grind when I get home. See this? This is cheaper than the mini 100 mil that I bought today. It's about time. You know, I make the excuse that I work so much, which I do, that I don't have time to edit for you, which I don't. But I think I need to learn how to make pasta sauce. I think that's one of the big takeaways. Same with the, well, teriyaki sauce, you can't make that from scratch. I usually mix it and I season up my veggies a lot, so that can stay. This was such a good deal today. Great. Wow. The grocery store was so busy. I have never seen it that packed. I think I told you guys two vlogs ago that I want to make a lot of lemon tea. When the weather changes, I don't believe it at all. Oh my gosh, the way people are huffing and puffing and coughing and choking around me, I'm not playing. Ginger, for the same reason. <gasps> that is the one thing I forgot, lemongrass. I really wanted to make lemongrass tea as well. Zucchini, I'll probably make this tomorrow night. I forgot when I was checking out, I'm like something, something, oh, chips. So I just made and then I got in line again and just bought this. I think it says semi-sweet, right? I'm hoping, I, I can't tell, and I didn't have time to zoom in. My fridge has never been this stark, but that's I. that's okay. I'm gonna do yoga and then I get my choice of so much fun adulting, pick one, can't do all of them, should I do laundry? Wash my hair, which I won't straighten tonight. I'll just deep condition it and leave it curly. Edit or clean, because I do kind of need to clean. I mean, I can probably do two of those things, but not all three, it's too much. So tonight's not gonna be a very fun night for you guys. I can't even lie. So I'll try to make an aesthetic montage out of it. <laughs> Morning, morning, rinse and repeat. To-do lists are supposed to go like this, get smaller, right? Mine feel like they stay like this and it just shifts up. Am I making sense? Probably not. Stayed up so late, logged in an hour and a half early today. You know what? Let me just go to the gym because I need to start this day right. It is what, 4.30? Almost. <laughs> if chaos was a day, it would be today. Use my lunch break 
Terepe, which was really good to prep me for what's to come. These nails did. I can't believe I survived two months without it. I never used to get my nails done before last year. At the top of last year, I began to go and I was addicted and my nails were so thin. I'm honestly just gonna do a full set today, keep it for three weeks and go back to bare. I really want my natural nails to grow back, but I want them to look pretty for a bit because I've been struggling with this for a while now. It's been what, two months, three months with just my natural short stubble ups. Last week's vlog, you saw what happened with my pedicure, so knock on something. Then this goes well, because I don't need another mishap, okay? Hey, my friend said he couldn't tell, so at least there's that, because I was like, do I have to book to get another pedicure within a week? I mean, if I really have to. I just bought this, but I twisted it out so much that like half of it broke and I can't find it on the floor. Blind problems. See, I don't even know if there's any in here. <gasps> I have to be extra careful. Even on sale, this brow pencil is pricey, but it's so good. I think it's worth every penny. If it wasn't so fine tipped, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. I love it. So if you are not good at brows, blind or not, this will get you together. I promise you that. Wait, did I do mascara yet? I can't even remember. So I'm probably gonna put, ooh, are you seeing this? Rare Beauty's trying to catch me slipping over here. What the heck? No. Just know. I think this is my cue to take out on YouTube. I don't find they flake or dry up on me, but I don't know what that big chunk was for. <sighs> I wish I did the five minute makeup challenge when it was trending here on YouTube because, ooh. I love that I say that just when I smudge my face. Cause I was just about to say, I'm really good at doing my makeup pretty quickly, especially for a blind baddie. But uh, no, retract that, retract that right now. Hopefully you can't see. I'm not mad at my hair with the curly bang yang yang. I think the bottom, well maybe because I didn't actually style it today. It's nice and wild, you know? I'm telling you, Q-tips are your best friend. If I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. Tell me it's all gone. I can't tell, I hope so. <laughs> Won't be the first time that I left the house with mask hair in the wrong place. Hopefully it's the last time. <laughs> Let me pack a second battery so that we don't have the same thing happen again. Here is the best lotion of all time. Dream cream and self-preserving. Not the regular one, self-preserving. Edited and not yet edited. <laughs> it's so long. The dream cream. Listen, I've been meaning to buy a full tub for a minute. I keep buying the smaller tubs. And they last a long time, like six months. This right here, if you are dry, I, 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 if you are an ashy leary like me, hey, Crest ain't got nothing on this cream. There's a reason why they call it dream cream. I mean, this, first of all, smells heavenly. Second of all, and most importantly, leaves your skin not just moisturized, but luminous. This is what I thought Fenty's Butter Drop would do. I like that too, but my skin is so thirsty. Like, it thinks it's cuffing season thirsty, that this is the only thing that redeems me. So I'm really excited that I got a full size. I think there's a size bigger than this, but when I saw $54, I said, not for cream, not today. A little frugalista over here. All that's left for the rest of the day, as you saw, to get these huge clips into smaller clips so I can upload it. I smell someone making the most tantalizing smelling chicken tenders. Okay, I don't know what it is about chicken tenders. They're so basic, but they're so good. And whenever I smell them, I'm like, mm. and I have some in my freezer too. But I already took my chicken out and it's soaking in vinegar right now. Gotta wash that chicken. So I'm gonna season it up and make a proper dinner tonight. Don't know if I'm gonna vlog that just cause the meal I'm gonna make, is gonna take a while. And when I try to film, I try to film different angles if you noticed which makes it take longer than it should. And I already have work to get back to over there, behind you guys. On the roster tonight is technically editing, finishing up some stuff for work. Why am I counting on the same finger? <laughs> and one more thing that I'm forgetting. Oh, laundry, yeah, no, we're taking that off the list because I'm gonna, no, we're not. That's too much for one night. And what time is it? I don't even have my phone because it died. 
That's how much I've been using my phone today. We gotta take a couple things off this to-do list or you're always gonna lose it. I'm just happy that I was able to do a little self-care and treat myself today. I haven't done my nails in what, what did I tell you guys earlier? Two, three months? I don't even know. So here goes me, I come in there, I'm four minutes late, which I already feel horrible about because I hate keeping people waiting. I was doing something for work and I was just, doesn't matter. Point of the story is I felt bad for being four minutes late. The owner, and the person working the front desk was like, full sets here, full sets here. Uh, hello, I have a name. I don't really care now, I'm just sharing it with you to share with you. They're like, no design, no design. I already told them no design when I made the appointment two weeks ago. So you don't have to tell me no design. I know it takes time. And to be honest with you guys, I was wasting money getting designs because I couldn't see them unless I photographed them and blew them up, zoomed in. It kind of felt weird and almost like I was delusional Whenever I'd go to a store and I'd buy something and then they'd see me hand over the item or tap with my card, oh my God, I love your nail design. I'm like, thank you. But in that moment, I'm not actually appreciating it because I can't see it. So I'm like, who am I really doing this for? Who? Make it make sense. Like I can see a plain color, barely, because if I could, I would have done this myself. I'm gonna make a iced matcha later. Don't let me forget, but I'm gonna try to use my lunch break. Keyword, try to bake these cookies. You see, I got some lunch prep. Thank God I did that last. We edit a little bit, but who am I kidding? It takes me a little bit to get into the zone. And usually it's around the three hour mark that I'm just like, tsh, 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 like so quick, quick, quick. Oh, this door is so annoying. To have it open, to let the light in, then I can't get down here. But then when it's like this, I can't see because it's really dark. And light, if you have star virus disease, you know is very important. Either it stings your eyes or it helps you see clearly. So either my contrast is super bright on my screens or my eyes are watering because of it, but without it, I can't, it's such a catch 22. If you know, you know. And I wanna keep sharing little bits like that. I realized in the last couple of weeks that I have not said enough about my eye disease and people don't really understand how much it impacts and impedes every single aspect of my life. There isn't a part of my life, there isn't a place where it has not laid its hands and left its mark. Where's my thingy? You know you're Caribbean when you call everything a thingy. Growing up, my mom used to be like, pass me the thing by the thing. I'm like, which thing though? <laughs> Chocolate chips, I'm so excited. On top to make them so pretty this time around. I feel like I've almost, almost done a disservice to myself by not sharing all of the struggles with star guards. I think people watch my vlogs or see my clips on Instagram or my TikToks and they think, oh yeah, you know, star guards is not that bad. She's handling it. No, it's hard. It's very, very hard. It is, I sometimes I don't even have words, but you just gotta keep going, gotta keep going. So there's that. Okay, these are not gonna be pretty. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't end up being a sheet cookie like last time. Spread them out, do rounds. I went to a new nail tech because my old tech moved on up. She's a manager now. So she cashed me out and she made a comment like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. But the reason why I haven't gone back besides nails needing a break was the last appointment I made wasn't really convenient to me, but I wanted to get with her before she moved on up because she's so good at what she does. And I guess she wanted to switch roles sooner then she told me, because I had known, we've been kicking about it for weeks before. So when I had booked the time, I was thinking, okay, it's still within the last week of her still being a nail tech. And then she messaged me like two days before saying, hey, can I put you with this person at this different time? And I'm thinking, okay, but no, not really. So anyways, I went the last time, the nail tech was, I. she didn't do the best job. Not my worst, thank God, but definitely not nearly as good as her. And I was like, this is just a sign. I've been telling myself for months to take a break. The universe is now telling me to take a break. So that's why I haven't had nails for a few months. So when she made that comment, I thought about saying and sharing, you know, last time I tried to book with you and it was out of my usual schedule and I moved things around to not even be with you. And I realized, you know what, that's a big problem. I'm probably gonna make a Patreon about that. Maybe not next week, but week after. Just talking about the problem with trying to please other people or accommodate other people to your own demise. Because at the end of the day, you only have yourself to blame. Case point period. So, and it's a 
horrible, horrible, horrible habit that I have. And guess what? Who's the only one that's upset at the end of the day? Or not upset, necessarily just inconvenienced. Always. So, you know what's so funny? I was so worried about there not being enough chips in here, but unlike last time, the chips are actually poking out on top. <laughs> I'm still gonna add more, I don't care. <laughs> I was originally gonna go to a Toboco tonight. My plans have changed and I'll explain more probably tomorrow afternoon. Wow, why, why, why is this part so stiff? These are on the top and the silicone is a little thicker so it's going to go on the bottom. Siri set timer for 17 minutes. Thank you. You know, one time I said thank you and she said you're welcome. I'm like, have mercy. They're so much prettier than last time. Chewy with just the perfect amount of crunch. This is my third one. <laughs> I just finished filming a video. As soon as the clock struck six, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Let me film. It's time to switch gears. I didn't wear this to film. That's. I switched again because I'm going to wash something and I don't want to get bleach on my nice clothes. But the video went well. Hopefully I can edit it by tonight. Otherwise, that was kind of a waste of time because it's a time sensitive Patreon exclusive. Do you not see me taping it? No words. Tonight, just a whole lot of editing, so you're not gonna see much of me. Oh, that's so cute. The little kid is jumping in the pool. Summer's almost here. All right, guys, see you in the morning. I don't even know how I'm functioning. I went to bed at 4 a.m. I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not. You see, this pod, no, not pod. See, I'm not even in the right state of mind. The vlog. Hours and hours and hours and hours, no money long. I am so upset. When I looked at the clock first, it said 2 a.m. I'm like, okay, half an hour more. When it said 4.30, record. I've been creating content for 12 years and never have I ever spent that much time until 4.30 a.m. editing a vlog. Like, that's crazy. So it should be no surprise to you that I didn't get to straighten my hair last night or do laundry. But we're gonna keep rolling with it. We're gonna make a really quick smoothie. I mean, as quick as my Vitamix will make it. And have breakfast. Then we're gonna go and see my godmother, have lunch with her. I hope she likes the cookies. I like them, they're pretty good. I wish they were a tiny bit more chewy. Cookies are packed. They're not like put in pretty, but that's okay. Oh, 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 is done. Mouse is off, computer's off, cookies packed. I got my sweater for me. I'm sure you can see in the background what's going on here with Straight since you last saw me, cause, oh, that smoothie. So much work to slurp it, so thick with two Z's. We're going on a trip, but you can't guess where I'm going. Here's a hint, it starts with S. You'll see it in the next vlog. But I gotta wrap it up because I gotta run. I was waiting for an hour and a half for my vlog to process. And now that it's done, we're going. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. And until next week, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. Should I take this sweater too? I don't know. I'm like the worst. I packed light, but I also packed paranoid. Is it a red eye when you leave at 9.30? I don't know what a red eye means. I'm just assuming overnight flights are red eyes, right? Because you're at... I went to bed at five, bear with me. It's so peaceful here.